This is an installation tutorial for screen protectors for Alienware laptops from Green Onion Supply. For this demonstration, we are using the Alienware M15X, but the video's techniques can be applied to installing any of our screen protectors for Alienware laptops. The materials you will need include the contents of your screen protector package, the screen protector, the dust isolation sheet, and the microfiber cloth. You may also need a screen cleaning solution or clean water, and cellophane tape. Step 1. Cleaning your screen. Place your laptop in a well-lit environment for installation, preferably without dust. Then, use a lamp or flashlight to help you find and clean the dirty areas of your screen. Take the microfiber cloth from its packaging, hold it away from your laptop, and wet one side of it using water or your screen cleaning solution. Then, use this damp portion to clean the screen of all smudges and stains. Fold the cloth to a dry portion and use it to dry the screen and remove any streaking or dust that you find. Finally, check under your light source for any more streaking. Repeat the cleaning as necessary until your screen is completely clean. Step 2. Attach the dust isolation sheet. Remove the clear dust isolation sheet from its yellow paper backing. You can then set this backing aside for future use. Now, lay the dust isolation sheet down onto the screen, with the sticky side touching the screen and covering it completely. Push any larger bubbles that form towards the edge of the screen to remove them. The dust isolation sheet will remove dust from your screen and also isolates your screen from airborne dust until you are ready to install the screen protector. Step 3. Scroll back the dust isolation sheet. Choose an edge to begin installation from. We recommend the top edge of your laptop. It has a mic and webcam which have a corresponding cutout in their screen protectors. Thus, they require more accurate alignment than other edges. Now, partially peel off the dust isolation sheet from the edge that you chose. Use the flap you peeled back to form a tight scroll where the sheet sticks to itself. Roll this scroll back to expose several inches of the laptop's screen. Step 4. Expose and align the screen protector. First, prepare the screen protector by removing its colored masking layer. This is the tab labeled front, which mentions a masking film. Don't mistake it for the backing. Now, identify the edge of your screen protector that matches up with the exposed edge of your screen. Partially peel off the screen protector's backing from this edge, and then fold and pinch the backing against itself. Align the exposed edge of the protector with the edge of the screen. Once it is perfectly aligned, allow that edge to attach. If it's crooked, move, realign, and reattach. Step 5. Attach the protector and check alignment. Now that your edge is attached, scroll back the dust isolation sheet to give you more room on the screen. Then, expose more of the screen protector by removing more of its backing. Allow the protector to fully attach to the newly exposed area of the screen. Continue to alternate between exposing more screen by rolling back the dust isolation sheet and installing more of the screen protector in the exposed areas. This method will help minimize exposure to airborne dust. When you get to the end, you can take off the dust isolation sheet entirely and fully remove the backing to allow full attachment of the screen protector. With larger screen protectors, it's easy to pick up big bubbles and ripples that are hard to push out. To get rid of them, place a piece of cellophane tape on the corner of the screen protector. Use the tape to partially lift the protector off of the screen until you've gotten past the big bubbles or ripples. Then, allow it to reattach carefully while you smooth its attachment. Repeat the process if larger air pockets remain. When finished, you can remove the tab of tape. Now, check the alignment of your protector, especially along the edges, corners, and any camera or mic cutouts. For the sake of demonstration, we'll pretend that this installation was misaligned. If it's misaligned, you'll need a piece of cellophane tape. 
attach it to the corner of the screen protector. Use the tape as a tab to lift the protector gently off the screen. Then align and attach it again. Don't worry too much about not touching the glue. As long as your hands are clean, you shouldn't leave obvious marks. Once reattached, check the alignment. Repeat the removal and attachment until you are satisfied. Finally, hold the protector and slowly and firmly peel off the tape. Step 6. Remove dust and bubbles. To remove bubbles, simply use the microfiber cloth to push them out towards the nearest edge of the screen. If you find bubbles that cannot be removed, they are most often caused by dust or fibers that are trapped underneath the protector. To remove dust from underneath the protector, you will again need to work in a bright environment and use a lamp or flashlight to check for dust. Grab your cellophane tape and a microfiber cloth as well. First, identify areas that need dust removal using the flashlight. Make sure the dust is underneath the protector by checking with the microfiber cloth. Firmly attach a piece of tape to the corner of the screen protector near the dust, with enough tape unattached to form a tab that you can grab. Then, take another piece of tape. You will be using the sticky side of this piece of tape to remove the dust from the glue of the screen protector. For the dust remover, we recommend cellophane packing tape, which has larger surface area. If your tape is rigid enough, you can use the U-shape method depicted here, with your thumb and forefinger sticking to the tape and forming an outward U. Find this doesn't work well with your tape, use the ring method, where you wrap your forefinger or two fingers with a piece of tape, forming a ring with the sticky side facing outwards. Now, use the corner tab of tape to gently lift the protector partially off the screen, exposing the area with dust stuck underneath. Then, lightly dab the protector with the other piece of tape to remove the dust. We recommend using the bouncing and pinching method you see here. Spread your fingers to increase the surface area as you attach, and pinch your fingers together as you pull the tape away. To check your success, you can allow the protector to reattach and check for more dust. Make sure the dust and fibers that you see are not simply on top of the protector. Repeat the process of checking and cleaning until you are satisfied by the lack of dust. Move on to other corners if you find dust near to them. Once you are sure that there is no more dust stuck underneath your protector, take off any remaining tabs of tape. Then, remove all air bubbles by pushing them off the side of the screen and your installation is complete. At this point, you can save the dust isolation sheet. Unroll it and then stick it to the waxy side of its paper backing. Thank you for watching. You can find out more about our products at www.greenonionssupply.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.